Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's quick video on Azure, I'm here to show you how to use Azure Hybrid Benefit for both your existing server as well as when you create a new deployment. So, from my Azure subscription, I'll go to Virtual Machine. So, first we'll look at the one that we want to apply for the existing servers that we have. So, we'll expand my first server, which is a DC. And under settings, I can go to configuration. And here, I can just switch the button to Azure Hybrid Benefit. Confirm that, yes, I do have that. And click on the Save button. So it has successfully updated my uh, configuration and from this time onwards I won't be paying for the licensing fee which is uh, depending upon what series of virtual machine you, you choose it can be a saving of close to 49%. Now this is for existing machine that I'm running in my Azure subscription. Now what is the experience when you create a new? So let's go and uh, click on virtual machine and go to add. And for demonstration sake, I'll pick the one resource group that I already have, give the name for the machine, location, 2019 data center edition. Let me give the credential. And here you can see that uh, it is asking me if I have a Windows Server license. And, and if I say yes, it will apply Azure Hybrid Benefit. But before I do that, let me actually show you the pricing and how much saving you get. So if you go to change size, if I want to deploy a DS1 version 2, I'm paying 133.32 monthly without Azure Benefit, right? And let me see. Once I switch on the button for hybrid benefit, how much is the price I get? So we'll confirm that. And now if I go to my virtual machine series, you see there's a lot of savings. So with hybrid benefit, I'm paying 7238. And uh, the moment I create the machine, I'll be only paying for the compute, not for the Windows licensing because I already have as part of a uh, hybrid benefit. So I think that's a great functionality. Now, there might be another scenario in case you are trying to lift and shift. So maybe say, for example, you have on-prem machines and you are using Azure Site Recovery, say, for example, and you want to move. And before you fail over, you can just go to the networking and storage component and you can just switch on the button. So the moment you switch on that button and you spin up that machine right from that moment your Azure hybrid benefit will apply and you will save on the Windows licensing. I wish I could have shown you but I don't have any infra on-prem but that option is also available. So in today's session you saw how to apply Azure be uh, hybrid benefit both for your existing VM as well as your new VM that you create in Azure. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.